Let's get started with the slot milling operation. In order to ensure cut accuracy, you must perform the zero setting on the X and Y axis dial. Typically, you would take a skin cut, but in this case, that technique would render the workpiece useless. Here's a simple trick to do this without actually taking a skin cut. Mount a steel rod of the same diameter as that of the end mill cutter in the spindle. Paint the workpiece face with a special marking die. Advance the workpiece bringing it in contact with a revolving steel rod. Notice the rod will make a very fine vertical mark on the colored surface. This slight edge will ensure that the steel rod has touched the workpiece. And now you can go about setting the X axis dial to zero. Similarly, Go on to perform the zero setting on the Y axis dial. Proceed by switching the steel rod with an end mill cutter. Use the X and Y axis dial controls to make your cuts. Use ample amount of coolant to prevent tool damage. Use a brush to clean the workpiece surface at regular intervals. Repeat this process as many times as necessary to cut the incision to the dimension. Measure the width of the slot using the inside jaws of the vernier caliper. Let us quickly recapitulate the broad steps involved in the slot milling operation. Step 1. Mount the reference steel rod. Step 2. Color the workpiece face. Step 3. Bring the workpiece in contact with the steel rod. Step 4. Reset the X-axis dial to 0. Step 5. Reset the Y-axis dial to 0. Step 6. Swap the steel rod with an end mill cutter. Step 7. Make the required cut. Step 8. Use ample amount of coolant. Step 9. Clean the surface. Step 10. Measure the slot dimensions.